Nightshade, again by Ultimate Play the Game. Uh, released in 1985, again for various platforms, including the Spectrum. And this was an isometric game, not the, well, the original ones, but one which was built on the filmation environment with multiple screens and scrolling and whatnot. And double cassettes! You know it's good when you've got two cassettes. The Lost Valley. Somewhere between the Purple Mountains and the Seas of the Seven Islands lies a hidden valley, a land that time has not touched. All remained peaceful and tranquil until darkness descended upon the land. Light and freedom were banished from its homely hills, and the evil set seed. Death and hunger spread, and all who remained within the walls of the village became stricken or hag-ridden with <laughs> haunted evil. All who had now deserted the village sought refuge elsewhere. The village was now in complete control by darkness. The plagues, the remaining people, the weak and afflicted were unable to leave, and soon became enveloped by the victorious evil force, transmuted by, by some terrible disease into the most hideously foul creatures. They wander their once peaceful village, producing deadly plagues and fall fouls to enslave anyone who dares trespass into the village to try and defeat the evil overlord. Many years had passed since the village became overrun, and soon the knowledge of the village slipped into legend. Songs were sung and tales were told of brave adventurers who ventured into the valley to find and destroy the evil force and never to return. Of the riches that could be gained from the successful adventure and the evil which lay in wait for anyone who dared to set foot in the evil enchanted nightshade village. The old storyteller's eyes widen into fiery gems as he recalls and relives the tale of battle with the, with the force of evil at work in the nightshade village. Ah, uh, tales of goats and mud, monks enslaved by evil forces to do their bidding, and of plagues and foul demons let loose on the village. Even death itself was imprisoned within the village of Nightshade as an uninvited guest of the evil one. The old man continues. My god, he goes on, doesn't he? Skeletons with rotting flesh dripping with the blood of a long dead, waiting, prowling, the now empty village for live prey. Hideous demons, he croaks, and terrible ailments and spells waiting to absorb any who dares anger the evil force. Lift the darkness and the kingdom of nightshade shall be yours forever. The old man slumps back exhausted into the tall carved wooden chair. You extract as much information as you possibly can from him, but he can tell you little more than where to find the village. You set off down the valley and enter the forbidden nightshade village. This story is continued by playing this most advanced home computer action adventure simulation. Fare thee well. If this ultimate play the game software fails to load, it will be replaced totally free of charge. Lovely. Let's have a look at a few features listed here. Nightshade features the latest development of the Filmation process called Filmation 2. Ah, this is Filmation 2 engine. This is a unique software development which generates and maintains a realistic, moving, three-dimensional scenario background, giving Nightshade the unequaled realistic feel of a true player participant film. Oh, this is, so this was, um, scrolling was fluid, I believe, rather than separate screens. So you have Adventure, Filmation 2, Copyright, 3D Movement, let's see if I can get this, okay. Continuous pause, demons, ghosts, run, walk, weapon stack, spikers, gremlin, blobs, <laughs> blobs, skeletons, mad monks, Mr. Grim Reaper, that's his uh, official title, acid pools, bubbles, germs, spirals, spinners, globes, gooks, roads, doors, there's roads, this is amazing, cottages, log cabins, churches, walls, bible, just one, hammer, cross, egg timer, okay, plagues, antibodies, tunes, what is in the suite of a god three dimensional view village extra live superb graphics amazing animation they're, they're clutching at straws here aren't they multi lives lookout towers superb sound effects monsters bacteria gargoyles goblins streets windows rooms houses lookout towers and barns they couldn't even come up with an extra one to add in the bottom but to be fair that is a fairly exhaustive list. So, there is Nightshade.